put it here. Mute it. Might as well pause it as well. Boom. There we go. Now I have it on the YouTubes as well. I'll tag people here and let them know. Okay. And I'll put a thing on Twitter as well. So I'll be waiting for people to pop their butts in. <clears throat> and now, I guess, let's see here, chat overlay. Hmm. There's a way I can just like pop it out. They do have a download thing. I should do that again because they used to have like a way to turn it invisible, which was always kind of fun in my opinion. And it apparently didn't support Windows 7 when I was using Windows 7, but it still worked on Windows 7. Yeah, funny. Test. Test message. Hooray. Okay. I'm going to put that to the side and put this to the side like that. Good enough. Yes. Now I can see the chats in both places. So I'm going to put a thing here now um, because it's going to be much more difficult to read three different chat places, especially two different ones on Discord. So let's go with the live chat on Discord, I guess, easier. Or maybe, I don't know, because maybe that actually makes it harder to, to read or to watch and chat at the same time. I don't know, whatever. Maybe, maybe come to the chat. <laughs> Which, you know what, whatever, P pick one, I don't care. <laughs> chat wherever you want to chat in there. <laughs> the stage or, or the thing, is it the same? Okay, well then we'll save the live chat. <laughs> just, just to make it easier. And the, there's some people who, who don't like the live chat and some people, or uh, yeah, and then some people who, uh, oh, it's the same on mobile, right? Yeah, it, um, Elbow was always saying on, on mobile he didn't, he didn't like uh, using the chat in the um, um, stage channel on Discord. It was a bit of a pain in the ass, uh, which I completely understand. I think Discord needs to figure out a way to change that. I don't know what else exactly they could do right now though. I will put thoughts into it later. Maybe. Okay, this is this is going to be slightly annoying because this is all the gerbil noses only. This is this is six. I think this is like six G. Three needs a little revamp indeed. Now that I have three monitors here as well, again, maybe we can do that. Or maybe give more code control to admins. You know, it would be kind of nice, but I think they're probably worried about uh, too many scams or something happening. Or something like that. I'm not surprised, because there are a lot already. Okay, this is not one. One G four? I don't know what. Okay, good. This is six. What is this or what is this? I don't know. Whatever. Both parts of the ear. Okay, well, at least this is 6G5. Perfect. Good enough. 
The hard part about this later is going to be trying to put it all back together, I think. Can't see animation here. What? On YouTube? It's showing. Oh, music, right. Turn that back on. See it? It's there, I see it. Oh, you do? You can't see it? There you go, okay. <coughs> I'm gonna get a copyright claim for this music. I don't really care. Just a copyright claim, not a strike. Fine. thing in particular. Four? Oh, uh, four already exists. Set. Five. We make it five. Bam. Yeah, I, think, I think this one is part of three. Hard to tell now that half the journals are missing. <laughs> so what's this now? 3G6 or 3G7? Seven. Yeah, I'll go with seven. If I skip numbers, it doesn't matter. This is all just for me to organize slightly. Come on, come on. would be fine. But, no. Fine. I'll leave it there. At least if there's something there. The other one probably has something too, but it was like a really tiny little speck, so I feel okay deleting it. <laughs> What's new with you, GB? Face, dragging it around just for fun. Let's go on the back of the horse's. 
I always forget this, <laughs> it always makes me laugh. Because <laughs> for me, it's, it's not even, it, it's barely even Friday evening still. It's like, it's 4 to 30 p.m. They're like 18 hours ahead. <laughs> music to there. How does that sound? Oh, it's not on the Discord, is it? Shit. Okay, let's do that. Ah, that was such a great stream. I remember how to live stream. I just haven't done that in a long time.
there. I have volume control in two different places. <coughs> this is not my fault. Okay. I don't know what the hell this is part of. Uh, that will be part of it. Okay. Uh, this one will be part of... Wait, what is that? Oh, this is also part of... Gerbil 1, that's right. It wouldn't let me do it. So 1G9. Delete. I said delete. Thank you. Um... About here. Really? I have it down so far. Top ladder. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's the only thing, Mike. Actually, I, I have things set with the with the mic so that even if I were to whisper, it should still be about the same volume. And if I were to yell, it should not go above a certain point. Ah! Soft yelling. <laughs> Fine, you know what? Here's what I can do just to please you for like half a second, okay? We'll do You get a bitch gift. Ocean for that one. Father, I was wrong. <laughs> Years I followed just the sun. Now Sorry for killing anyone, dude. I have to. Key. Blame GB. It's all his fault. What is going on? Why can I not? My Excuse. I begin to see. No. Stop. What the fuck? What? Why will it not let me select? Okay, in here, in here or something. Yeah. I'm gonna select this now. Click this. Oh my! Yes, thank you. That's what I wanted. Yes, stupid donkey. Um, I found the voice after that. Sag. Mucho sad. Okay, I believe this should also be for him. Yeah. That little black dot there, but that's not gonna come. I like how some of the whiskers and, and certain parts have already gone away and others have not. I find that funny. All these poor little gerblies. Okay, we're gonna call this 2G. I don't know where I'm at now. 7? <laughs> ah. What is. What? Oh, okay. I think it's because it's like the whole thing or something? I don't know. Whatever. Don't question it. Was this part of... No. That was not part of the table, was it? Was it? Well, maybe it was. 
Seven, the you piece of ah. okay. This is two D eight PNG. Yeah, the last one got messed up because of the file naming, so I have to redo that. Oh, look, now that all that has been selected, all of this will also be able to be selected along with it. I've got this little tiny black dot there. going to crap. Oh, that's eight. Or seven. Seven. So just seven. Uh-huh. Okay. It didn't count that other piece of blue. Dang it. I'm gonna do it separately now. tools in this program. <laughs> Carol, thank you. <laughs> I, oh, oh. Thank you. Whatever. This will be 2GH. This is 2D9. <laughs> Delete it. Oh my lord! Is this 2G10? Delete it! Okay, thank you. <laughs> There's Thanos snapping the gerbils out of existence. Okay. I don't know what this is supposed to be for. Um, so I don't think there's a gerbil there. There's one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. So I don't think that dot is part of a gerbil. Which is good. It means I can delete it or something without consequence. Yeah. I don't know if this was part of the gerbil or not. Maybe you could put a reference. Yes, that would be his eyebrow. That would make perfect sense. <laughs> This 
should be 3G something or other. 3G. Sir, this is the next uh, gerbil for the non-fun gerbils. Oops. Um, this one is Castle Party gerbil. This is four. Four. there. Uh, yeah, okay, 49. Thank you. What do to do? Oh my lord. Ah, we have 4G10 here. Wait, okay, thank you. We don't have a number 11. Sometimes you can't just like yeah, there. Left side first. I just want these little pieces in here first. Okay, so this is five. G. We'll call it seven. <coughs> oh my lord. RG8, incoming. Now the blue, oh the blue part is for this guy. Number six. Yes, that's part of it. 
because I don't think we have 66 yet. Ah. Nothing left over. Amazing. <laughs> This guy is number seven. Minus this piece. I think this piece is for the other guy's tail. No, actually that's for his tail. Wait. Okay, let me just go through and make sure none of the other files messed up. Nope, everything looks fine. Very good, very good. <clears throat> Alright. So now, this is getting a little bit easier. Um, well. There are so many other things in here. <clears throat> Thank you. I don't know why it takes so long. <clears throat> Excuse me. To select some of these things. That piece is separate.
<laughs> he didn't miss a form of my issues, he did. How dare he? He was forced my issues. Yep, thank you. Yeah, all good. All the things. Perfect. Okay, let's grab this also. Because I might as well. And this thing. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll grab the green. It'll grab the green, and we'll just call this like part of the background or whatever. So. Also background something. Something my dig. Bye bye! Darn it, we have this little piece here. Good. Using. This one is Inkscape. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did you do? No! It just deselected selected everything. I... <laughs> oh, and now it won't select anything. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Inkscape. I, I have to use the uh, Game Ready Game Current Code Grammar. Oh, have fun! No save, yes. Um... I, I have to use Inkscape or something, something like it, to be able to extract layers and whatnot from AI files. Frick that stupid little... I want... but now... no! Ah! It's all like the Yay! <laughs> Arch 4, good enough. Thank you. Now I can delete it. Ah, middle finger to you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it, Inkscape is a, it's a, I, I don't know, it's, it, it's a bit of a strange program. It's probably very, very good for doing certain specific things that I don't really do. <laughs> and just like anything, it's probably like really, really good once you, um, get used to it or whatever. Um, <clears throat> and figure it out, but I really just need it for these, uh, for these AI files to get rid of it. So, I don't know what I need to say, sorry. To check layers from AI files, like I said. <clears throat> Other than that, it doesn't seem like a very user-friendly program to me. <laughs> um... Well, I want to get these guys um, all separate out of here. I don't really know how exactly to do that. Besides, working on everything with them. Um, thing I dislike about these things is the amount of layers. Yeah, 
I know it's better like that. This definitely is the thing to get The rest of this I could probably uh, just take out now and I could just separate later instead of kind of click on a thousand more things here. I don't know if this little gray piece was supposed to be for. That's probably part of, part of one of the gerbils. Yeah, that's part of... Who is that? Who would that be? That would be gerbil one. Darn it. That would be one G... Let's just say twelve. I don't know what it is now. Okay, and everything else is pretty much fine. Like I said, I can just extract all this later. I feel like something has to have been missed, though. Hmm. We'll find out. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Um... The rest of this... <clears throat> See if I can figure out what was um so there or what was left or whatever. And see if I can salvage this. It's a good thing to say I didn't. Because all I'm doing is extracting the layers from it. 
so I don't usually save it. And this is the first time I've done this this way. Okay. So it's pretty much all of the all the ones at the very bottom. Uh, All these things at the very bottom. Something happy would not be there. Yep. Yep. I know, that's why. But I meant it. Uh, they will be minting it, yes. <laughs> I'm just doing the animation. Okay, let's see here. 37, 45, 49, 73. There is anything else in there. Where is it? Where is it? Where is this? What is this? Aha. Uh -huh. There's a part of the. I don't know what this is. Okay, 49 is on there. 45, 37, I don't know what 41 was. I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't seem the same. How do I know? It looks like it was part of the one thing there. Okay, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to delete the ones that, that are here. 37, 45, 49, 73, 93. Okay. So from 57 up to 73. Uh-huh. Really? Excuse me. No, we don't delete 73. Okay. Come on. Don't delete 73, and then it goes up to 93. Speaker. What the hell? Just select the right freaking thing. What are you doing? This one. To here? No! What is happening? Oh my god, okay. I will delete them one by one then! Okay, 93 and 97 are there. 101, 105. And then it goes all the way up to 169. Yeah, no, okay, that's not going. That is so stupid. Sorry. Right. I'm getting pissed now. Merci, easy, you drive safe, you have fun. <coughs> After one second on. Now you know why I hate this program. Seven, one, eight, five, four, five. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So nine, thirteen, seventeen. Uh, twenty-one and twenty. 
Oh, there is no 23. So that must be a 25. Anything that shows anything else in there at all. You know what? What was left was pretty much just color. And then this guy over here. So everything to do with this guy was still there. Everything to do with everyone else was not. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can just extract this guy. Piece of shit program. Why are you going down that? this, I can at least take him out of it. Okay, we're gonna call this whatever.png. <laughs> Export the whole damn thing. Yep, go ahead, why don't you? Piece of crap. <sighs> well, okay. Time for trying to figure out how to get the rest of the crap in here. Because that's going to be so much fun. I might have to do the rest, figure that, the rest of that out. Outside of this, streaming on my own. I need someone to start yelling at me like people need to yell at Jay to save. <laughs> I know, I know, I should have saved that. 
Barossa. Where is it supposed to be there? Taking that sweet time. <laughs> Damn. The size of them is so much smaller than it needs to be. That is never going to work. The blank square was because it was um, importing everything. There should be a way in here, because there's like this path tool that you can move on these paths, whatever, I don't know. Not whatever. Not to to... Well, screw this, whatever, I'll do it the way I usually always do. I don't have the tired patience to go through all that nonsense again. That was so much clicking! I want to scream. But like actually scream. <laughs> Not in a, in a funny way. I'm actually...
Okay. So, since my original plan backfired in the entire last hour and some has been a complete place of a heart, <laughs> I will just take the original and I will do what I need to do. Unless I can get maybe, maybe one, one last such effort. Magic game designs, why it takes so long before a game comes out, yep. Well, especially if you do some stupidity and don't save your work. But like I said, that wasn't supposed to be there that long anyway. So it shouldn't have mattered! No, no better. Well, it was my first time try trying it like that. Because what, what I did with the last one, um, or last two, there weren't as many layers or there was some some way I figured out that I was able to just like extract like whole sections of things like they were all grouped into into certain things a little better I don't know maybe maybe the grouping doesn't work quite right this time or so I have no clue I don't know well whatever let's start making a plan I guess Whoops. hello you're gonna screw me over too now eh? Start making a plan of what is going to be in you, please. Can you use the mouse? Is that possible? I got a pen thing. I have this XP pen tablet. And I guess GIMP likes to... Um, which is kind of a good thing. It, it, it separates the input um, so that while you're using the pen, you can't do whatever with the with the mouse with the mouse, um, but sometimes that's annoying because I need to use a mouse to, to move the darn thing around. Um, whereas on here I can't with with the pen I can't. But if I'm using the pen and then try and switch to the mouse to move it, nothing happened. <sighs> so I was talking about someone else who fucked right into the disease isolation. Screw up if you need to make a correction. Indeed. Do the original way. I don't want to do the original way. It takes so long. It's so tedious. The last ones that the groupings were a little bit different. So there's like one, one entire group for one gerbil, one entire group for another gerbil, and whatever else. All the lines had its own group and everything. So I don't know. Maybe she did something a little bit different or something. It was also, if you notice, right? It's a little bit different when when you come. And I don't know why this is. I don't think this is um, her fault or anything at all. Oh, okay, screw up. How's it going? <clears throat> um, I don't think this is her fault at all, but I still don't know why this happens, right? I'll show you here. So if I put the AI thing into the, the AI file into this, right, it'll import the thing, and then you'll see... Mm -hmm. 
that looks quite a bit different from this. Right? And there's a couple of reasons for this. All of the lines on here don't exist, right? All these lines exist, all this detail, it all exists, right? But in here, it's it's not there. There's this weird shadowing thing around him, whereas in the actual image, I mean, there is a shadow there, but it's a shadow, right? On here, it's like an overlap outline thing, and I don't know why that happens. I don't know what it is. Um, maybe it's because I'm because she uses Photoshop and I'm not, and Photoshop does something differently or something. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but that actually kind of messes things up a little bit as well. <gasps> Excuse me. <clears throat> um. Maybe this piece, I think this might be the only piece that I can actually like, extract from that AI file very, very easily. This little spray painted thing, which might be fun to have. Yeah. I might, I might take that as a spray painted thing in there. Um, obviously the, you know, the gears, the gear should move. I don't know exactly how I'll do that one. It's a fart cloud. Terrible. Ew. Gross, perfect. So the gear... The gear should move. Quarter store. I don't know what to do with all these guys. I might just make them all like kind of come in here as a party. Uh, maybe something with the with the back door of the uh, ponies. One of them can release a fart cloud. Then the other can do something else. <coughs> um, someone or something. Someone or something can out at the top. I'm gonna have someone go through the windows. It's gonna be me going through the window. Or at least my dragon. <clears throat> He'll go through the through the windows and then Maybe he'll like pop out in the middle, look around. That'd be fun. I like that idea. This guy's gonna be waving his arms. Like, hear ye, hear ye. Something. I don't know, laser eyes on the pony? Or is that overdone? <laughs>
Oh, Jesus. Come down. Ah. Ah. Yeah, he, he looked a little scared or upset or something. Something happened. I can always figure out other things as I go home. Just all these guys. Because there's so many there. It's definitely going to be challenging to animate all of them. difficult to do, I just have to kind of cut out these things and um, put them behind. That's really the first This will be the first time using this pen tablet for much of anything. So we'll go further. Set a little bit weird. And then trying to kind of move across is going to be very strange. Mm 
nothing wants to work nice for me. There needs to be a way with that pen. Maybe, maybe what I should do is have, have one of those pens, have one of the pen buttons. Because right now what I have is set to is like, I want one of them is the eraser, and one of them is the pen, or a paintbrush. Maybe what I should do instead is have it set for one of those to be to mimic the middle mouse button so that I can move it around. I can just select tools that I need to be using with the pen rather than have those on the on the buttons. And then I don't know, have one as but middle mouse click just so I can move around. Oh, I haven't even done it. I'll save. I'll save once I cut this. have an alpha channel. It's a PNG. Okay, so this actually goes in behind. Yeah. Okay. Right. The music is over. There, I have saved. <clears throat> now I can use the pen. Perfect. Um, oh good, that does still work. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and change that now and see what happens. See how well it works. Look at this. So this thing. Let's make it. Um. No. Stop. Could be middle click. Ugh. Gonna be that. Okay, there's the top thing there. Hmm. Well, it works. For some reason, it's a bit laggy. Oh, shoot. That. Hello? Well, that really only worked temporarily. Yeah, that worked only temporarily, the middle click thing. Because now it's not doing anything correctly. I don't know why it flashes around like that either. Oh, 
fun. Nope. Oh, that's really fucking bad. It worked for a second. Why even use it? Maybe I need to change it so that it works along with the frickin' mouse instead of mouse and keyboard. What I need to stop doing is trying new things. This, I think we can just merge down with that. I hit with a double whammy. Both the devices I'm using ran out of juice. Oh, that sucks. <clears throat> Mad Dash will find the respective words. <laughs> That's terrible. Devices these days and they're puny batteries. Things need to have larger capacity batteries. Why it's so difficult for them to have such large battery? Hmm? I'm amazed at the, at how long this battery lasts. Even like if you put it into battery saving mode, it, it'll last for like ten days or some crap, up to fifteen from full charge. 
But even even without that, I usually only have to charge it once every uh, three or four days or so. There we go. I have to see again what I what I remapped this keypad to for GIMP. Configuration save successfully my butt. Middle click. Middle freaking click. Yeah no. I don't understand. It's <sighs> it how What is this? <laughs> right? Like, oh my lord. What the frick is going on? I had. Oh, I, 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 yeah. Hey, Elbow, how's it going? I would have loved to have use this freaking pen thing for oh what happened my entire desktop just vanished okay it's fine huh oh oh if... no never mind i thought freaked up the stream too maybe it did i have no clue how's it going elbow <laughs> you, you have really not missed too much <laughs> i've spent an hour trying to extract all the layers individually from another program and that turned out to be in vain and then the program died and crashed and killed itself and now i'm just starting over from scratch not doing that <laughs> how are you doing I can still be heard, yes. <clears throat> okay, perfect. What did you just do? Basic junk. Yeah, it feels weird not having any other music. Had to unmute me from last night. How dare you? <laughs> what what happened last? Oh, right, because the right. Okay, because how how yeah how I stream the jazz. I I have it come in through my microphone for people who don't click on the stream. Maybe I shouldn't do that anymore because most people because there's so few people now that 
uh, watch those things um, that most people do click on the stream. They, and if they click on the stream, then they can hear the audio. It should come through there automatically. <clears throat> so maybe I should just stop that for now. Until someone complains about not being able to hear it. <laughs> they should get to listen without joining. <laughs> they shouldn't get to listen without joining. True, true. Makes sense. All right, see you, Nick. Have a good one. See you again soon. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, remind me next Thursday. Okay, Elbow. Remind me next Thursday to do that. If you can think of it. <laughs> if you think about it. No, no, I will do that. Chat over there. No, no, no. <clears throat> what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I think I'm trying to check. Wanting to check. My uh things for this. So this is yeah, oops. This one. Come on, you. Oh. Drag with my finger. Okay. Just trying to figure out the, the best way for me to do whatever. <laughs> I forgot what Shift S does. That is the oops. resizing. Correct. Yeah. Okay, good enough. Um, what did I do for um, yes, that is escape. So this is control Z, control Y. <clears throat> okay. This one to save. Hmm. I guess that pen thing might just really be good for um, writing more than anything. There's a little journal thing. I I had a I I have a app that um. That I have added, which is kind of fun. I don't know what is this one. Oh, I can't remember the place can't. What? <clears throat> Do I need to write the no C? Um, but this is the app here. If it will just open, yes. Let me go to this. And we put it here. And we go F11. Then, oh, that's perfect. Yes. Okay, now. Just a sec. Wait. Oh, that's right. Uh, because it has. Okay, let's. Well, yeah. Let, let's let's go. No. Wait. This is incorrect. This is a second. Never mind. I'll just explain it instead of trying to figure something out because it's pointless. So I, I added that app, which is called Journal, and 
I thought it would be kind of fun to use it as like a green screen writing board or something so I can literally write over top of anything that's happening on the stream window, which I think is kind of fun and funny. <clears throat> so yeah, there we go. That's it. But I have it set differently. I I have it set to take up this this monitor, but this right now is display capture. So if I put it on here, it's gonna mess things up and be very weird and kind of pointless. <laughs> so yeah, but it's fun. But when I'm playing games or something, I can have that over here, and this this window won't be showing. Um, and I and I can write over top of a game or whatever the heck I'm doing over here on the main screen that is being captured separately. And then because it's a green screen, it'll be made to disappearish. Activating that again. Window back. Right. Now when I remove that. Yep. Just that there. Perfect. Which means that um something else can go in between. For example, this. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened there. Oh, right, part of it got deleted. Number four. Okay. Fun. <clears throat> okay. So, what next? Right, his arms. Figure out something with his arms. I'm going to, for the animation, I'm going to get rid of this background shadowy stuff because that's just uh, way too difficult to figure out to do. Oh, that's back in. Let's go with that. Do this. Right, we're just going to fill some of the colors. I hope that didn't mess up the entire rest of the. Uh, Thing it only did in there, yes. Uh, well, not completely. It did actually mess up the rest of the thing, which I don't exactly want. How about this over here? Or, no, I have a better idea. This. Actually, we do design. There we go. Perfect. That ah. okay. Right, I was going to put on new music. Sure, this says it's Twitch safe music, copyright free. So let's put that on. There we go. <laughs> okay. So his arms.
Right. Yes. Plus it. Oh. Okay. I give up trying to use the damn pen. It just messes everything over. Also, I noticed that there's a bit of a mess in here. In that shadow, I guess. This will be a little underneath all of it. Or yeah, it kinda you know what? Mm. I think I'm gonna have to take this entire background out here to make it. Now, if the arm were to be rotated, if the arm were to be rotated. If the arm were to be rotated up. Right. The black on the sleeve doesn't uh up and down a little bit. So
Oh, shit. There we go. Something died? Computer crash? No? What happened? Stage. Oh, the stage ended. back on here. Damn, wants to continue hanging on there. I don't know what happened to it. Seems like a discourse my hood. Yeah, probably. That's probably what happened. That's weird. <clears throat> Oops. Every now and then, we, you all know weird things happen. Frick! With Discord! Frick! <laughs> <laughs> right effing color! D bag! Okay, right there. Yeah, I brought it back. Okay, I'm being a little bit too thing about it. No, none of it is even gonna be seen that much. Look at this. Gareth is here? Oh, 
How's it going, Sarkara? I mean, re realistically, his arm is actually over here, or his shoulder would be like about here ish, right? So if he were to like wave up in here, hear ye, hear ye! <laughs> yeah, something kind of like that. Perfect. <coughs> okay, we're gonna just And we shall save! Right. Yes. Um, I need to. This whole door with. You know what? What? Excuse me. Um, this whole doorway thing here. We are going to make another layer. Mm hmm. Okay, we're gonna go P. Bring this all the way up here, click on there, and we're just going to spam it around. to take this whole pinkness off of there. Ow! Okay, that would be very nice. Um, the only thing... And then have it, like, spray painted on. I do want to do that. So, I'm going to attempt to do that. with the doorway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. Um, that shouldn't have fricked anything up. Should be all good. Yes, okay. And in here. Oh, it's all pink. I think this is like the only... Well, aside from the ears, I guess. Um, pink! You give me all of the pink. a little bit higher. This is where this might just be a little bit difficult to do. I'm gonna try something here with the um with the inkscape. Even though it pissed me off. I'm gonna try to waste some fucking time. I'm going to try something. Selected online. Yes. Just that. Just that. Now we're gonna make the page height like it should be. Actually, that is not quite correct. Uh, what is it actually? 3284 by 3286. Let me just do the effing thing. Damn it! You know what? Fine. I have a. Um, I shouldn't have chopped anything off of it. Um. 
No, you know what? I'm just going to make a 3300, like what it was. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be like what it was originally. And I'm going to put it back into the trash area where it originally was. I put all this stuff. I'm going to call this the. Um, oh, I already have it in there, actually. Alright. Get out. F off. Oh, right. I forgot. I made it very tiny. Just imported you piece of poop. Good enough. I don't know what that fineness means. What do you think? Probably some sort of complaint. Import selected only. Thirty-three hundred by thirty-three hundred. Yes. Then you can think. Okay, we'll just call this one what it was before. Alt. The PNG. Yes. We replace it. Good enough. F off. Get out. Thank you. Now we can drag this in here. And now it should be big as heck. Hmm? Yeah. The only the slight noise is it might be slightly off because of um, reasons.
I keep seeing things move on screen.
Thank you. I like how that shows on the screen too. <laughs>
I just kind of did things. Yeah, the, um, the, the whole thing did. I don't know what happened. Discord decided to shut down the, the stage for some reason. No, don't worry. It's not your fault. <clears throat> and Discord broke it. For some reason. What you having for supper? The Tales of Illyria Mage, right? Twitch. It's not even. I'm not even logged in on Twitch. Damn it. spam on the Twitch. I don't want to offer promotion for your channel! Yeah, it's some super fucking bot that comes on there. <laughs> Just goes on and it's another... My pat... It is not! How is my password prone to enemies? It took me 30 minutes to try and get back into it. Piece of poo? <laughs> How do I delete this? How delete? Pin ma no. No, 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 no. We are not gonna pin- mod view. Mod view. How delete? How delete and ban? Fucking bitch. Just delete! Ben! Thank you! Ben. God! Why does Twitch God. make it so difficult to delete and ban frickin' chat off of your frickin' streams? The annoying chat thing is that it sits there on the- on the- Is it on YouTube also? Did I show up on the, on the YouTube chat? Uh, I need to go and like fucking turn these things into followers only chats or some some crap. I don't know. 
chats or some stuff. It is in there! It, oh my god, scroll down! Delete. No, just. De de mm. <coughs> I can't even delete it from Restream! They don't. Because it's a mod. Because Restream is a moderator, so the Restream bot that reposted it from there won't let me fucking delete. Delete it? Um, word to filter. What does it fucking say? Promotion. For your... Thank you. Offer... Promotion. Offer... Promo. There, let's just add like 1400 variations to it, just in case. Why can I not delete this one off of here? Seriously? Wait. Add to block list and restream chat. Yes. Bye bye! Thank you! I deleted it from the restream chat. Ah. I feel better now. Shit. Oh, fuck. Good lord. Information for your channel. Yeah, it only cost you your soul. Like friggin' Discord spam DMs. Absolute terribleness. <laughs> Flying machine. Jeeves. Jeeves? <laughs> Ask Jeeves? Poor Jeeves. Google killed Jeeves. It's disgusting though. I can't believe Google done this. wasn't even a piece that was messed up by me. That was a piece that was originally there. <laughs> you don't like it. Make my OCD go Bleh.
Okay, so I'll turn. Show me the chat. But it's like, oh, I thought you didn't want to use chat. You thought you got the chat spam. Yeah, one message. Tell me Doge died. Oh no. You, you do mean the coin, right? I don't have to be sad. I guess she does mean the coin, right? do this time to cause that to happen. Did he tweet about it and say like, eh, actually I think Doge is kind of shit to be honest. TBH. Fixed, mostly. But, oh shit. And be a little bit repaired. I need to repair the messiness. Perfection. Now it's like it was never gone to begin with. <laughs> that will barely be noticed. Okay, perfect.
honest. Sorry, and put that on top. Excuse me. <laughs> um, yeah, and then re draw out the here, here.
exit in the delete. And I like them on top and then the gear can go between. So this can go on top of Yeah, I should see the sex game song when I was listening to it. Yeah. It's, it, I, I will say, it would absolutely be easier, um, probably to animate something from scratch, rather than trying to animate an existing image. Right, like, um, easier with the layers. It definitely easier with the layers. Uh, I, I don't think you were here for that. I tried. I tried to use some of the layers. I tried to get all the layers, but um, Inkscape is a program that I really dislike. I don't really know how to use it. It frustrates me. And it's it doesn't seem very user-friendly. Yeah, he definitely missed that bit. The, the first hour. First freaking hour. Even before I started streaming, or started showing any of this, I, I had taken... A bunch of the layers and um, was separating them out and everything and then I got kind of to, to the last last little bit the last little bit was left and Inkscape decided to crash and because I'm only using Inkscape to um, extract layers I didn't I didn't think to save it because I'm like, well, kind of no point if all I'm doing is extracting layers and then not really using it again after that, right?
like I was saying, it, it, it's probably a really good program for for certain things and for certain people, and it's always going to be one of those things where if you use it and it works for you, then great. But if you don't, it's just going to be shit. No matter what. Tier one, I guess. Or should it be two? This should be one. Yeah, I'll call it tier two. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. It's just really, really freaking frustrating. You lose all that progress for one thing. Yeah. Already frustrating enough of a program. <laughs> Right. Can you be slightly less frustrating, please? We wave from there tomorrow. The, the other thing I don't like about uh, doing all this is that it just takes forever.
There we go. What is going on there? <coughs>
desktop audio got reset. So the music was probably really loud again, wasn't it? At least on YouTube. I don't know how that happened. Go fucking straight down. Straight line. Good God. Should be able to go a little bit larger and just fill it in. Correct, not with black, yellow, smooth stroke.
gear completed. At least one of them. Now that one can probably be used to be copy and pasted. I don't think I'm going to be able to draw multiple of them very easily. Or at least it would take me quite a bit longer to draw more. That's right. So... That one can go there. like more like it goes into the page rather than um, black on top of it or something. And now if we were to rotate it Super amazing. I think that works a little better. Like I said, that can probably be used uh, for this one as well. I'll just erase this and put the um, the horse butt on top.
Okay, now my mouse is not obeying me. Seems like the mouse wants to go silent. This is on top of your one. This is on top of your two. Okay. Actually, gear one should probably be reversed. Now these ones, and I'm pretty sure it's... I could have just copy pasted this over there and changed the color. Ah, frick. Why didn't I think?
I have a pen tablet I'm using my mouse. I'm kind of switching between both. The pen tablet is the thing that I'm getting, well, is the thing that I'm getting oops, frustrated with it not doing a straight line when I want it to. I go as like sideways-ish. This is the pen tablet. The mouse, um, I typically use for a lot better control, but it hurts the wrist because I tend to like squeeze and like focus and tense up my whole arm so much. So I thought having the pen tablet would work better, but I have to I have to like really really ensure this thing is at the exact perfect angle <laughs> so that when when I feel like I'm drawing straight down, it goes straight down. It's kind of cool having. The, the only other thing I really dislike about having uh, about the pen tablet is that I can't move the thing around. Like I can't, I can't move the image around. So this this is it. This is all I can see here. This is all I can see. I can't really move it around very well. I can use this, of course. That's not really what I want to do. I want to be able to like just click and drag it around. <laughs> uh, when you had one, you had a few hotkeys that were controlling it. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't want to work because the the middle click works for that, right? Um, but the middle click here doesn't do that. <laughs> So I don't know why. It did when I first when I first set it up to do that. It worked. But now for some reason it isn't isn't working quite that way. And I don't know why. Because it should just work as a as a as a pointer, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe Maybe it's because the middle click, maybe it's because it's pressing, I don't know. It was very slow and laggy when, when it did work too. So. I don't know. It's strange. tablet did you have? Ah. 
tits was that? <laughs> There's this nice, um, this $40 thing, it's like, uh, 50% off right now. I guess, for $50. Um, Wac Wacom, Wacom, um, tablet thing. In tools, create a pen tablet small with 4K stylus pen black. Um... But it's on sale right now, and I was thinking of trying that and seeing what that's like. Because okay, this one was a, a cheap one that I got off of Amazon because I didn't want to spend too much money on something. But I didn't know it wasn't going to work. Oh! Oh, never mind. I was going to say Windows 10S not supported. Well, I guess it can't work on Windows 11 then. And then I had a couple um, ages ago. I had a little wake up one. Wake on one. Can't remember the name. Then I got bigger fancy wake on one at work, but miss it. Um, but mostly due to programming now anyway. Do programming. Yeah. They're kind of cool little. Did I mess that up? They're kind of cool little things. I don't know, I, I like having more interactivity with my computer. Sometimes, depending on what I'm doing, I feel like a mouse just isn't enough. Um, to be fair, no so here to increase in quality slash responsiveness when I upgrade to the proper way from one. Okay. Well, maybe I should check that one out. This this one is a, a um, did I say what it was? It's an XP pen. Pen, definitely way more expensive. Yeah. <clears throat> well, like I said, this one's on sale, 50, uh, almost fifty percent off, forty bucks off. It's still going. I am. Yeah. It's it's gonna take me a long time. I won't continue. Uh, I won't finish the whole thing tonight, but it will take me quite a while to complete it. Um. Yeah. The this Wacom tablet thing here. It's it's just a small one. Um. But it's also on on sale. I wonder if if getting the Wacom one. Oh, it's out of stock. No. Ah, oh, feck. <laughs> Never mind. Are we getting <laughs> get a bit of the profit from this piece? Um. Yes. The uh the uh, Luke does pay me for this. Sorry, I had to think think about what you meant by that for a second. Um. Fucking things out of stock. Oh, oh damn it! I'll have to look. Huh? Excuse me, I didn't press this. Go away! Stop! 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 It started spam opening one program. Disgusting. Don't do that. No! What is this unhandled exception has occurred in application? What are you doing? Unhandled exception in what? In GIMP? Fuck! Event viewer is detected an error and snap it and it will unload it. What? I don't know what this means! Stop! What are you fucking doing? My computer might crash. Fuck! Are we still here? Jesus Christ! That's the first. I've never seen that shit. It didn't crash. Thank God. I don't know what happened. I have Windows Event Viewer sitting on my on, on the taskbar at the at the bottom of the friggin' thing beside the the Windows Start menu because I have to constantly open the damn thing to see what the fuck is going on with this fucking machine. Sorry. <laughs> Literally every time I open this machine or turn it on, some sort of new issue happens. 
Okay, I just got finished fixing another one. With oh, I saved. I saved. Don't worry, it's been saved. But I'll save again just in case. Um, yeah, I, I just got done fixing another one on what was it two days ago or something like that. It it was um, it had been uh, constantly crashing with the NVIDIA drivers or graphics drivers anyway. Um, since I plugged in a third a third small little monitor thing here. It's a it's another like touchscreen thing. It's a smaller one, but it's also 1080p. And it started crashing again since plugging that in, so I had to like um it it, it would be fine like to, to open the computer and, and use it for a little bit, right? But as soon as I put the thing to sleep, at any point as soon as I wake it up again, um it would after a minute or two, start flashing, the screen would start flashing, and then it would crash and kill itself. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then of course it's always graphics drivers, so I decided to finally use um, DDU, Display Driver Uninstaller, to completely wipe the entire thing f uh, from everything to do with display drivers entirely, and then just reinstall the display drivers. And that seems to have fixed that issue. However, today, before starting this, it also crashed again. And it's another, I don't know what the hell it is, it's this... If anyone can tell me what the fuck this fucking thing is. Where is it? I have it on here somewhere. I know I do. You bet your ass. Uh, nope, that's not it. Um, right, yeah, bug, bug check. So the freaking error code that I get from this damn thing now is this bug check 0x7e and I don't know what the fuck is going on with that um, the event viewer might actually make more sense to show that PC pip request to allocate ephemeral port number for the global UDP port space has failed due to all such ports being in use. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Suck one. How about that? Here it is. Bug check. Zero X seventy bullshit. I don't even know what this fucking thing is. Sorry. Kisses me off. Okay. And then you look it up and it's like, oh, it could be one of like four hundred different possible things. Oh, great. Thanks. So it could be a bad battery, or a bad cord to the battery, or a bad charger, or a bad battery driver, or bad anything to do with the, with the battery, or it could be display drivers, again, which it most likely is. Okay, enough complaining. Oops. Sorry. This one! What are you doing? Oh, what? Oh, it's on the eraser right now, that's why. Okay. Now, do that. Add it. Add it. Huh? Can't wait to wait all for nice new computers and cameras and VR goggles, etc. Right. Um, yes, I agree. Although, I have to tell you, this computer is brand new. I bought it in February. The laptop. And literally every- I, I've had nothing but issues on it. I've complained about this thing. Almost every day. To some extent, I, I regret purchasing it. I wish I had just built a new one. It is top of the line, pretty much. It is an Aorus um, from Gigabyte 17. It has a 3080 Ti in it and a 20, or what is it? A 12, 12, 700K F H? Something like that. It's really good. It's a really damn good computer. Like, it, it actually is. The hardware in it is really fucking amazing, but it's it's Windows 11. I blame Windows 11. Like that—that's 
that's what I blame with this piece of crap. <laughs> I, as ridiculous as that may be, and I, I, I have one friend who, uh, who who complains at me for complaining about Windows because it's like, hey, it's been that Windows. Why are you so biased against Windows? It's like, bitch, it's been Windows every freaking time. It literally is. Like, every issue I have fixed so far has most of the time been because of Windows. Like, provably. Because Windows is throttling this, or Windows is throttling that. Or Windows has a stupid setting that I have to change and fix and whatever. It's Windows, Windows, Windows. And then it's driver incompatibility when it comes to Windows as well, so there's all that shit too. Um, I was told never go from 10 to 11. Yeah, yeah. I, again, highly recommend staying as far away from Windows 11 as you possibly can. If you have to upgrade to it due to work or some crap, fine. But complain. <laughs> if you can avoid it on your own machines, please do. It is trash. It is buggy. It is god awful. There are basic things that are still seemingly missing from it. Some things just do not work. Windows does not give two tits. I don't care. <laughs> Terrible. You know, the, the ridiculous thing that, that, what, 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 what really sucks about it though, is that Windows 11 is actually really, really nice in terms of the features it offers. Like, I can, I can do, I don't know if it's going to show. Yeah. So you, you, you can do like Mac related things. You can have, you can have all the programs show up like this, um, which is super, super nice. Like it's, it's really, really robust for some of the features that it can do. But it just... I don't know why they decided to put such nice features in it, but then also ruin things because they... like, Windows just wants control over your machine. It's like, why can't I just... Just, just let me use my machine how I want to use it. You know? It's my machine. I don't care if it's got Windows on it. It's my machine. So, someone actually argued with me that it's not your machine because it has Windows on it. And it's like, well, Windows would like to think so. But that's not true. It's actually not true. If I bought this machine, it is my machine. I'm not paying a subscription service for it or anything like that. Macs work good on the regular Windows, there's more control and some apps work better, but overall more of a pain pain in the ass. It's true. It's absolutely true. And then I, I just I hate Macs in general as well, because Apple is a terrible company. And it, it has a lot more issues on, on there as well. And then obviously like you can't use a Mac for everything. A Mac is like specifically designed to be used for certain specific things. And if you want to want to go down the, the whole route of you don't own your machine, well, when you get a Mac, you definitely don't own your machine. Apple owns it. Or at least they try to keep ownership of it as much as they can. Sounds like coming on Mark. <laughs> Windows owns your PC. <laughs> I mean, it's super true, though. That, like, well, they're, they're trying. They don't actually. Obviously. Even with a Mac, they don't actually. But they try to. You have an issue and you try and repair it with, with, a, with a Mac? Good luck. <laughs> Good luck getting a Mac repaired. At least with a with a Windows machine, you can just uninstall the operating system and install Linux on it if you really want to. I know I keep getting getting the advice to do that, 
and keep thinking to do it, but then I'm like, well, I tried Linux, and it is unfortunately incapable of doing everything I need it to do. I would still have to use Windows on it somehow. I would have to put Windows into a, uh, uh, I would have to use Windows in virtual machine environment, um, just to do everything I need to do. didn't have to be like that. Welcome back, Elbow. Have to learn a new system too, basically, while well, I haven't used Linux. Yeah, I, I, I did when my computer, um, when my old desktop decided to commit self not exist uh, <laughs> last year in December. It, um, it, um, yeah, I, I, the hard drive on it killed itself, and I tried to use Linux on it. I did use Linux on it, but it, um, it also ended up having issues just because, like, the, the entire hardware itself of the entire machine was just dying. It was just a little bit. So, whatever. But, um, trying to use Linux on the thing, and it was incapable of everything I needed it to do. Suck it up. God, why? Get the frick out of here. To at least learn the basics. I mean, depending on the on the um, operating system you choose, it is it, you can choose Mint, which is supposed to be uh, very very similar to Windows. So if you're used to Windows, uh, Mint will be a good choice because it um, it'll be so close. It'll be almost like you're just using Windows, just a more private version of it or whatever. Um, Arch Linux is the one that's like super advanced apparently. Although there's a couple people who will tell you, no, it's not. I started using I started with using Arch Linux. Okay, well. Good for you. <laughs> I tried using Ubuntu um when I installed it on that old machine. And it wasn't it wasn't awful. It just can't do anything I needed. The biggest thing that I need it to do is, is for everything that I do is my magic um, audio cable, virtual audio cable stuff. You all know how that one, how that one goes. Ubuntu, yeah. Ubuntu is um, a, a pretty basic version of Linux. It has it has some basic stuff already installed with it when when you get it. So that you don't have to necessarily <coughs> um, set up the machine completely 100% yourself. Um, but obviously, it, it won't have anything that you that you need that it that it doesn't already come up come with, right? Let's do this. Linux, you would basically have to do it all 100% yourself. Anything you want on it, anything at all. Like, as far as I know, Arch Linux, you load it up, and there, you basically have a command prompt, and that's it. <laughs> Figure it out! Although it would be cool. I would like to learn Arch Linux, and do get into virtual machine stuff, 
use Windows, use Mac on it whenever I feel like, whenever I want. I don't need any. No, too much. Um. Yeah. Um, did I work for servers? No. Unfortunately. I really wish I had a lot more computer experience and technical experience than what I do have. Um, I did take Com Tech in school, but unfortunately, we didn't really learn a whole hell of a lot in that. Com Tech was more of a of a fun option class. Oh, you get to you know learn how to do some animation stuff, you learn how to do some video stuff, how to you know, edit videos using one specific particular program that the teacher says you use. And you do some other basic computer related things. We did we did make shirts. We made shirt designs and printed shirts. That was fun. I still have it. <clears throat> it was my job before Discord mod. I was actually a parkour coach. I was coaching parkour. Oops. Um, I actually have not had m much for jobs. I did do a, a bit of freelancing related things. So I, I started um, with sound related stuff. I started at my church. Um, in children's ministry, I started doing sound and tech, PowerPoint, whatnot there. So I would run the music, I would run the PowerPoint, and make sure, you know, all, all was going well with that. Um, people with microphones, I got to work with a soundboard and all that stuff. And that, that I started doing when I was like 10 years old, something like that, 10 or 11 years old. Um, so it was pretty fun. And I enjoyed it, and then I did a couple of freelancing related things, also at the church, um, in the same vein, being a tech for, for those things. <coughs> I never took computer stuff in school unless I learned on my own. Luckily, Dad was into computers from the early days. That's nice. And then, um, yeah, and then I did, I did that for 10 years, so until I was about uh, 20, 20, 20, no, I did it for over 10 years, sorry. Uh, around 20 or 20, 24, I think. 20. No, it would have been 22 or 23. Something like that. 22 or 23, uh, and I quit. And um, that was all volunteer, so that wasn't actually a job. That was all volunteer. But that's fine. That gave me a lot of experience, and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> no, what did what did what did you say? And then, um, after that, um, well, I, I, I started doing parkour, um, I started doing parkour in 2015, 14, yeah, I think in 2014. And I think by 2016, I was coaching it. Um, I was coaching it at the YMCA. Uh, one, one of the coaches at the gym that I was going to, um, during one of the classes, he's like, uh, "There's a there might be a job opportunity for you for some of you guys, or you know, well, for for one of you guys, um, if anyone wants it, um, to coach parkour, because." He was the one doing it, but he was like, he was having to coach so many, so he was going like all over the city all the time, right? <laughs> so, um. Sorry, I see that I have a mention here and I don't see it. That's weird. Unless it's from the live chat and I already looked at it. That's probably it. <clears throat> um. So I, my hand shot up into the air instantly. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, yeah, we we got 
start started with that he he did some some training stuff with me for that for for learning how to and whatever and it was it was very simple and all that and uh got me into to introduce and all that. um and it was the first time actually doing a job interview so <clears throat> that was that was fun um nerve-wracking being the first one <laughs> really ever and <laughs> that was that was a bit rough indeed um, yeah. And then... I did that for... a few years. So I, I, I did that at the, at the YMCA until 2018, and then they decided that uh, they didn't want parkour anymore because it was only being done at like two or three locations, and apparently they wanted the YMCA to be like a consistent thing, the same programs across all locations or whatever, which is kind of ridiculous because not all locations have like water slides and giant dark swimming pools and whatnot, so whatever. <laughs> they decided they, they didn't want to do that anymore. Um, excuse me. And then I was in, in, in 2017, at the end of 2017, I also got a job coaching parkour at a different place that shall not be named. Um, and then, um, that, that one ended in 2018 also, in December, and that one ended badly. There's a lot of shit. Upper management and everything was very corrupt there. HR, everything. Extremely corrupt. Um, and they didn't, they, they, the, the short story of it is they weren't paying me what they were legally required to be paying me, or f like, yeah, f for, for hours. Um, here, there's a minimum, you have to be paid, uh, like for a minimum, for part-time, you have to be paid for a minimum of three hours. If you're not paid for a minimum of three hours, they have to make up that, or sorry, if you don't work for three hours, they have to make up that pay um, at at least minimum wage. And they were doing F all. And so when I found this out, I asked questions about it. My manager got all upset and irate and whatever. And she's like, well, you can go talk to HR with it. And I'm like, okay. And then she set up some some meeting or whatever with HR. So we go into HR and she decides to become all accusatory of whatever and blah, 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 blah. And that turned into a giant fiasco. Um, I ended up getting paid what I was supposed to get paid. I got all the back pay that I should have gotten paid. <clears throat> and then there were just issues everywhere uh, after that um, and I asked questions and got kind of upset with something later on and she decided to fire me so yeah I uh, wish there was some parkour available down here in Costa for my son to be able to do it he's into it but uh, none around so mostly does counseling and some workout at the gym that's honestly a good start. <coughs> yeah, calisthenics um, and um, working out and everything. A, a lot of people just go outside and they'll do it outside or they'll find like a playground and do it there. Um, but obviously it's like, there's no mats, so you have to be very careful. <laughs> it's, it's a lot harder to learn, especially more advanced moves when you don't have a safe place to do it, <laughs> right? Um, the only other job I really have done is uh, inventory at my mom's work, which was not too bad. She worked at a university bookstore. Every year they would do inventory and they would need extra hands, extra heads for counting, so I'd go and help with that too. I guess technically that would have been my first actual job that I got paid for. Being 16. But it was only like two weeks as well. <laughs> so not really a big job. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I need to start doing parkour again. I haven't done it in so long. I haven't done it since the world event.
sounds like an amazing, fun, an amazingly fun way to stay in shape. I haven't seen anything like that before where I'm from. It is a really good way to stay in shape. Of course, like it's it's hard to. Well, I was gonna say it's it's hard to start if you're not already somewhat in shape. But I guess it it really depends on your mindset and your goals and whatever. Um, Obviously, it's going to be a little bit difficult if you're not in very good shape to do some of the more advanced things, or especially to do like flips and whatnot. Um, but the more you do it, the more you, uh, the more you burn, the more you improve, and all that. Of course, to such a degree. and heels for sure if I could even take a landing from any height. <laughs> there, there are some good exercises for that. Honestly, literally, I don't know how well this will show. Well, whatever. Just like going up on your toes is a good exercise. Um, 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 um like if you, if you go, if you do like a, a wall sit, right, um, against the wall, or even, you, you don't even have to do a wall sit, like you don't have to go fully down to like 90 degrees because that is difficult. <clears throat> um, you can just like lean, lean, lean up against a wall, right? Where, wherever it's comfortable and your entire back can touch it. Um, actually, yeah, it's, it's better if your entire back is like kind of flat against the wall. Your legs are what's coming out, right? And then lifting your toes up. Uh, that's a, that, um, that would be the opposite exercise of the, um, Toe raise. Um, yeah. So d doing doing the standing up and just raise, lifting up on your toes. That one is good for the calves. Um, the other one against the wall is good for the shins. And not enough people pay attention to their shins, including me. I had shin sprints last year running, so don't do that. It's terrible. are the worst. Um, I have to stop running because of them. Yeah. We, if you do get shin splints, uh, coconut oil and something hard, like either a wooden spatula or a piece of metal that's not sharp. Scrape the shit out of them. I'm not joking. Literally. Just scrape the shit out of them. Um, let me show you. <laughs> this is what I did. Well, th this is what I found and tried, and it worked. It helped. After a week, my, my shins were much, much better. Um, yeah, shin... Scrape. Okay, sorry. Shin, shin scraping. Yeah. Shin splint pain, pain, pain relief. This guy uses a In spoon. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix shin splint commonly known as shin splint. It actually includes some seconds. We just need a couple of things. The first thing is one of the lubrication. I'm going to use a little bit more thickness to it, you'll get better results. Right, Start off by coating the whole bottom leg right here with that lotion or cream, pretty much from the ankle yeah. to the knee on the outsides. From he says lotion or cream, but coconut oil is usually the best. Focus on everything. So let's start by finding our contact point. If you take two fingers and pinch yeah, on the long bone leg right here, that's the tibia. What I want to do is pretty much pinch on that bone and start to work my way downwards. When it comes to shin discomfort, a certain, uh, you pretty much from my right here using the doctor, as well. known as muscle scraping at this point. Here so with the spoon, it doesn't matter what part you use. You can use the rounded portion, the handle, the tip. Experiment with it. Any uh, portion that works a little bit better for you, use it. I like to use the handle and the tip. So what I'm going to do is put the spoon roughly about 30 to 45 degrees. I'm going to press into that soft tissue. We are going to avoid going over any bone, only over skin and soft tissue. And I'm going to apply enough pressure where it's going to be a nice self-massage. And I'm going to scrape or glide upwards. This right here can become very intense. So again, only to your comfort level. I'd like to go over one spot for about five to ten times. From there... Right, that <laughs> It works super well. You have to do it to, to the point of like it being sore though and red. Get the blood flowing in there, but 
<clears throat> I've tried running some marathons the last few years and don't realize how out of shape I was last started. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a can't see me on Discord but I'm not the face. What? No? Okay. Weird. Is that there? I don't know why. Hmm. Okay, I need to cut out this horse's leg. Actually, I need to take your four. Control S, darn you. That is weird. Yeah. That one. Okay. Put in the here. And then yes, here we go. And we shrink it a little. And we change it in perspective slightly. Like oh wait, actually. Uh no! my other That's gonna have to shrink a little bit more. Because it is bigger than the horse's entire leg. That's illegal. Next time at Rizzle Fest, I want to do, I want to do a parkour thing. I'm gonna make everyone do parkour. <laughs> that would be fun.
No! Wrong! This one. There we go. Guys, welcome to kill me. <laughs> it's been so long since <coughs> I felt my I felt like my whole body was fighting against me. Terrible. <laughs> Jesus. I think I've been doing this for like three hours now. <laughs> Well, I just need to do a couple more things with the horse's butt. And then, I don't know, maybe something else will come up in the meantime. Or later, or something. If anyone has any ideas as well, feel free to say. It would be fun to watch Parker Rivers of this, would indeed. I should take that as a wake up call and force myself to exercise more. Every day. Yeah, get up in the morning and just do 10 squats. <laughs> Not that fast. <laughs> Do 10 squats and then, I don't know, something else. Maybe something else out. Okay, screw that. <clears throat> Merci beaucoup. Well, um, yeah. We will continue this. Uh, I am thinking of continuing on Tuesday. Um, probably around the same time meaning three or four hours ago oh. from now. I didn't realize what time it was. How long has it been? Four hours? Or three? It's been four. Shit. Amazing. I see. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah. So, thinking, thinking for Tuesday, because um, I do want to get this done sooner than later. I don't want it to take too long. I already waited pretty much the week to do now um, because I've been trying to get it ready and whatever else. So, excuses, excuses. Yes. Oh, I cannot be seen now. Well, good. Too bad. <laughs> um, yeah. So, see you guys again soon. Monday, I guess, for Spiracle and whatnot. Um, and otherwise, for me, aside from, from this thing on Tuesday, I want to start streaming more. I just have to figure out a time of when that is going to work. I'm trying to decide if, if evenings will work better for me, or mornings, or afternoon, or something. I don't know. Whatever. I have to figure that out so I can start freaking playing games and shit again. <laughs> Bye. See you all. Have a good one.